appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 41. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building for episode 41. We're trying to make this one happen for a while, y'all. Introduce yourself to the audience. What up, what up, what up? It's Weird Ones podcast checking in. I go by the name of Kenyon. We got Johnny in the building. What it do? We got Jerry in the building. Present. We got Chris in the building. Yo. How y'all doing? We we good. We first want to start off. We appreciate you having yeah. us on. That's kind of funny how you uh, go through your name pronunciation correctly. Because my wife asked me earlier, like, who is? I like, I think his name is Hype. I think the M is silent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, this is one of those things. Like, I remember somebody telling somebody else, it was like, what's his name? It's like, it's Hype. You know, like you hyping it up. I'm like, it's nothing like that. It's not like <laughs> anything else. You got to hear somebody say it for you to be able to say it. I hear so, you. I hear you. <laughs> that's why that's in there in the beginning of the show. All right, let's go through the rundown right now. H2H Cleaning. H2H Cleaning is my cleaning company. Follow me on Instagram at H2H Cleaning. Uh, Custom Hustle Jerseys, that's my clothing line. Custom Hustle Jerseys, that is an in and out of state situation. For you, uh, pick whatever color you want, names you want, numbers you want. I got kids and adult sizes. Uh, out of town costs you a little extra for shipping and handling, but we make it happen. Uh, how to Hustle Seminars. The seminars are started. How to Hustle Seminars to put you on game for how you turn your podcast into something you can make money off of, relationship building, the importance of your hashtags, the importance of what you post and what not to post, and all of that type of shit. How to Hustle Seminars are available right now. Five sessions uh, cost you a little bit, but in case you didn't get the live situation, you can get the archives at the same price. Um, <laughs> now, let's go through the radio stations. We Monday, E-Block Radio Network on Mondays, 2 p.m. GFT Radio Network, Tuesdays, 2 p.m. The Kickback at Wednesdays at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Uh, WTNUPhilly.com at 12.30 on Thursdays. I say podcast radio network 12 is uh, 10 o'clock on Fridays. And the THC radio network is Saturdays at 10 a.m. as well. Y'all ready? So, wait, so you do all of that? Like you, you do radio shows and all that? Hustle, bro, my shit is called How to Hustle for a reason, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Hustle, that's what I am. We're gonna be hitting you up about some real information too, because I like. I said, I we, like got, I said like we got. I said we got. I said we got post show banner. That's what the post show banner is about. How to Hustle uh, merchandise. Also, the wristbands are available and free with any order from Custom Hustle jerseys. All right, episode forty one. Where ones in the building? What are we looking for in a woman? Understanding that we're all in a married situation and, you know, we're speaking hypothetically, personality traits, things of that sort. Or you would assume that we found what we were looking for in a woman when we decided to get married, maybe. Especially when you spend 2500 on a photographer, because I'm locked in. Most of life. <laughs> Fact. You better be with her for the rest of forever. <laughs> Definitely the plan. Definitely the plan. Start uh, off with you, though, Johnny. Go ahead. What am I looking for in a woman? For me, it was I had to find somebody that was that was kind of what I consider like a total package. Like I need you to look, be appealing in looks, but still have a mental that I could be like, okay, she's not she's smart. She's a smart, educated woman. She can handle her business. She could I have to look toward the future, like what she'll be a good mother, she's caring, she's nurturing, things like that. You know, you gotta <laughs> you gotta make the boy, you gotta do things to make your boy be like, all right. <laughs> Things he's like trying that. not to yeah. say he wants her to be yeah. a freak because that's his wife and he's being respectful. We got it. Though. For sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, I'm looking for a total package. And you ain't got to be 99 or 100 at rating at all of these, but you at least got to, I feel like it's a bar. and You got to meet certain minimums in every scenario or every category. And then, you know, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, so you was giving out Madden ratings. For sure. Oh, okay. I needed a 99, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He makes sure I make sure our speed, breaking tackles, and acceleration is all together. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. IQ, awareness, IQ, awareness. And awareness had to be awareness, had awareness is very high on the list. <laughs> this is uh, this is something that I went to throw out there before I threw the question in. We got a lot of people, a lot of podcasts always talk about uh, like a 50 50 relationship, or should the man be the provider, or should you be home with the kids, and all of that type of shit. 
this is how I came up with this topic is because we got a lot of those conversations, but it never talks about what is it that we're actually looking for as men. Because the women uh, are often confused by these different situations. So that's on me for not even throwing that out there before we started. But uh, Chris, we're going to throw that one to you now. Chris, what are you looking for? Uh, shoot. First of all, we talking about only personality traits? No, nah, we so what you looking for? What, you looking what for? are you looking for, sir? First yeah, thing off was that wrong. That wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he likes him thick. Okay. <laughs> nah, but definitely. Uh, well, my wife, she came around. She came along and started acting right. That was the biggest thing. Oh, this dude, right? <laughs> <laughs> Explain what is acting right, Chris. My bad, bro. Uh, I'm sorry. I need to. No, nah, you good? You good? <laughs> I mean, this is an open you, floor. This is an open floor situation. We was roommates at the time. So we were. <laughs> she came along, and started cooking for you, boy. So you know. That was it. No, nah, that was it. <laughs> they come along with the package. So you looking for a big butt and a hot meal? That's it. Then you you good? Uh, yeah, kind of. That's top of the <laughs> list, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's it. I try to take you a long way. But no, nah, it's just someone that can kind of just all around, uh, like a LeBron James. You know, come on, bro. Oh, I knew you was gonna find a way to work. Like a LeBron yeah. James, kind of just hit a every what? category on the stat sheet. All right, see, so hold on. Like one thing before before we go too far here, there's one thing we don't have on How to Hustle podcast. There's no cowboy slander and, and no LeBron pumping, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we're we're oh, on court shit. LeBron pumping. If we want to talk about I oh, Promise shit. School, how he got Rich Paul in the morning. But no, start that, about... that come along with the deal. That's part of the package. That. That's part of the package. That's off the court. That's business suit LeBron, not uh, shorts and T-shirt LeBron. He not feeling your man's, bro. <laughs> he don't be not feeling your man's. Well, you be now. <laughs> he is a sucker on the court. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> we're not going to that. We, we're going we're gonna to bypass sports that. Rundown. You want to go to the sports no, we, rundown? We'll, we'll dive, we'll dive nah. into that when y'all have me on the we're podcast. We're talking about women and y'all going to go wrong. Come on, man. Copy that. That's why I said we'll talk about that when y'all have me on the podcast. But right now, we're going to dive into gotcha. what is it that we're looking for in these women. Hot plate and big butt was for Chris. Let's go. Who's up next? <laughs> I'll go next. Yeah, uh, from the single guy. Let's yeah, I'm not married. married. Let's put that out there. I'm not married. Oh, okay. okay. His DMs married. are wide open, ladies. I don't have DMs, though. That's the thing, too. I don't want to do <laughs> social media. You got to just meet me at the bar or some shit. Uh, <laughs> but I would say you got to be attractive, and you got to have money, first off. You got to have money? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, I don't need your money, but I want you to have your own money. But like, you got money. What's I know. What What is have money? Like, you got to be able to support That's what I was about yourself. to say. Like, is- if you're coming at me... For me to be your rescue, that's not gonna work. But like, I'm not saying you gotta be rich, but you gotta be supporting yourself. Like, if you're living with your mother, that's probably not gonna work out. So you judging people? Absolutely. Okay. Like, first of all, first of judging. all, it's nothing wrong with judgments. I believe. No, that I'm not here shooting hot ones. I'm gonna judge. Oh, hold up! You shooting the club up, and you? What are you? You are aggressive. Uh, you are. You a gangster? <laughs> you shoot, I turned the lights on. The club <laughs> this though, hold on, because you said she has to have money. Do you mean she needs to have like she's financially secure, yeah. or is it that like you need, or is it are you one of those fifty fifty kind of guys? No, I, I need you to be financially secure. Like if I was not in your life, are you good? Like I don't want to be the guy to come into your life and now you think I'm the come up. Like I want you to be good. I'm good, and then we can build from there. I mean, so what if she's not man? good and she a baddie? Then, you know, that's a side piece. You can knock her down in the street. Yeah, ain't that like the definition of a side piece? You're you not white material, but you good enough to hit? You can't ride with her until she gets her shoe strap. I'm 30, 37 years old. You strapping up. Man, niggas is 99 getting divorces out here. You, I'm you like, look, time? If, you, if I meet somebody around my age, 35, 37, and they shit ain't straight, no. no then you shouldn't you, be with her, no. Yeah. No, you, yeah. You damn near 40, well, I guess, you shouldn't I guess, be together. I wouldn't know. You shouldn't yeah, be with her. And I think money is like a big indicator. It'll tell you a lot about a person. If they don't manage their money right, it shows in every aspect of their life. That's a wise man right there, man. That's right, a wise see, man. The be- see, the better way to say that than that she needs to have money is she needs to have structure and a plan. Yeah. Because if you just flat say she needs to have money, then that sounds like you coming in as the gold digger situation. Once you break it down to she needs to be able to take care of herself with or without me, that's different. But if you just throw it out there and she needs to have money, that don't come off. That don't sound right. It's like a, a sugar coating type deal. Like the way he said it, just realistic. Like, yo, she need to have money. She need to have her stuff together. You like, 
you know, plan and you know what I'm saying. We take care of business. It's the same thing. See, I'm not. See, there. I'm not. That, <laughs> see, I under, no, because see, the crux of what he's saying, I agree with. Like at 37, yeah, you need to have, you need to have a savings account. You need to have money and know how to structure your shit, and not be living yeah. check to check. Copy sure. that. I understand that, but. For me, it just sound like he a gold digger when he say they need to have some money. Copy. It, so, it, <laughs> sounds, <laughs> like, it sounds like he's coming in with an axe pick already to happen. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I yeah, can get that. But you could you could not make a lot as long as you know what to do with it. What you do make? No, I can't do that. That don't that don't that I don't calculate do that. right. I already know how that form fourteen child support calculation goes. So I need you to be at a certain level. But what if she act right with her money? No, because if shit don't work out, I know where my money's going. What if she work at Hooters? Hooters, do she? No, <laughs> no. I mean, basically, if you if you, if you got you your money if right, you don't you money. To, if you don't have the ability to carry this woman, then you don't need to be in a relationship with her. Really? Yes. Yeah, I'm if not. I wouldn't that, go there. If you don't have the ability, you. This is a part of be. This is a part of this is what we signed up for as a man. Like this is me. This is why I don't understand. This is why I don't understand the fifty fifty niggas. Oh, uh, hold up, man. Now you're talking about me, goddamn. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay. Hold we hit a live man. nerve. That's what I like to hear. Oh, 50. shit. See, my cousin got a divorce off of 50-50. Like, the light bill is $100. Here go, uh, here go my 50. Where's yours? No, I don't. No, that's I don't, weird, bro. I don't that's think that. Weird. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand that type of shit at all. So, when I think 50-50, I think it's more like I have my account, you have your account. We both put something in the house account, and that's how we take care of our bills and all our life and shit. Okay, so when you get married, are you still my account? Your account? I'm my account for the rest of my life because it's my account. Okay, that's weird. The only thing I would say about that is uh, majority of this shit is on me. If you got a woman that works, then all right, yeah, she got her own pride, ego, and she going to want to pay for some of this shit, and that's cool. But uh, we don't need to have a joint account for us to you know, structure our household and make shit run the way it's supposed to run. Like uh, man, we have relationships a account around here. It's got to be yeah. transparent, though. Relationships Wait, are fifty. Relationships is a fifty-fifty job. Our jobs are just not the same. I got that joint like, going over here. We got joint savings, this. but you're checking is your own. Like that's just your picture. So we got joint. Either. We got joint everything. Yeah, nah. Uh-uh. See, we no. had joint credit. We I put my wife on a credit card, and every time I'm like, oh, so you went to Chipotle again, huh? Like. Oh, my bad. She always uh, see, it's 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 Cudoba. Guy, it's Cudoba. My bad. Like, so you somebody. needed another burrito, huh? Like, see, we don't play it like that. We uh, we got our joint account, so all of our money, how me and wife do all of our money go into one account, and then we divvy it out from there. So it'll be like, yo, we take care of the crib at a one account. We take care of anything that relates to this house, our kids, whatever. We pay out of one account. Now. You can, we go through and we do what we got to do. We come up with numbers. You move that money to your account. I move this money to my account. And then we we do what you, you do what you want with that money. You can buy a hundred Chipotle burritos if you want to. I don't care. But you know what I'm saying? We make sure that the house is taken care of first. And that's just, it's just kind of how our team work here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you got to make sure your house situation. is, you got to make sure your house is in order account. before you do any fucking thing. Right. Like That's how we, and that's how we play it. Like. We don't, sad part don't, we don't necessarily don't subscribe like that, to the 50 50, like, yo, light bill, $100. I got 50, you got 50. We ain't doing none of that. Give like, yo, yeah, we ain't doing none of that. Whatever bills come so you're in. You're talking about giving my bread. I don't even, <laughs> fam, I don't even, to be quite honest, we don't even see a bill. We just know that some, the money get debited from the account. Everything's on automatic right here. We're not even worried about that stuff for real. <laughs> we're just paying bills out here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know when they do, but I know when I pay them. See, I, ain't I, I, no, I don't. Ain't, I don't. No, I mean, when I say when I say when I say that is like most of the time, if the electric bill come, I already paid it, so I don't worry about like oh, it's doing the fifteenth. If I got the money on the first, and we could just pay it on the first. The uh, see, week. I just got everything set up automatic. I don't, I don't like automatic. So I don't like automatic. Things might not have worked out this month. You know what I'm saying? Might have yeah, a flat see. tire. Or <laughs> I'm saying you, you never. Know. I feel like it's our job to make sure every month this is gonna work out. <laughs> I, I'm saying that you know shit like uh, you never know shit comes out of nowhere. Hundred percent entrepreneur. What you say? Are you hundred percent entrepreneur? If my situation was the way that I wanted to, then yeah, I would pay for everything. Uh, because you, like I said, my wife works. She got her own little pride about herself. It's so all right. We can go eighty twenty. But but are you most like part, are you a hundred percent entrepreneur? Like you, you, you like self boss all the way. You don't have no time. 
Um, no, because I got a job, and I got the best job in the world. I explained all of that to you off mic. That's not an all your situation. Okay, <laughs> okay. but I got the best job. I got the best job in the world. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, right. yeah, that's that's kind of how we run. But that goes into the qualities that we're looking for, and that I was looking for in a woman as well. Though, like, I needed. It's kind of what he's saying. I needed somebody that could handle their finances without having to worry about handling my finances. Like, you got to be able to take care of yo business. Like, I even told my wife before we, like, we didn't live together before we got married. But before we even, like, did all this, I was like, yo, you need to live by yourself. It, it did not happen because things kind of got escalated really quickly. But I was like, you should live by yourself for, like, a year just so you can get the gist of paying bills and, like, having something due every month, having to pay rent every month, having to do certain things. Like I said, we didn't do it. It ended up playing out a different way because I had to move and things worked out a different way, but hold up. I, um, I need to jump in there. <laughs> so y'all didn't live together until y'all got married? Yeah. So how the fuck did that work out? Because living with somebody is a whole new person. Like you find out a whole lot about this motherfucker. When you, do, you do. And lights on seven years day later, day. I'm still here, baby. <laughs> and again, after 2,500 for these pictures, God damn it, we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but it was a, uh, you know, it was a uh, more of a religious thing for us. And we were like, we okay, ain't gonna shack okay. up before we get married. We gonna, you know, say play it right. Yeah, like I'm a sinner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she, I mean, I'm not. I don't. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go. I don't diss nobody I'm who did kidding. it the other way. Like, I don't. I'm not saying the way I did it was right. It was right for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I just keep it copy. rolling from there. But um, copy that. We end up I'm, getting off your, a, I'm off your ass about it then, because you, you're saying. Yeah, what you yeah, yeah. <laughs> Copy that. You saying you you good? You can live now. All right. Uh, hold up. <laughs> that's, the that's that's how that. I'm more so with Johnny's type of way, because the fifty fifty is like, what if she ain't got? What if her check is short this month and she can't hit her fifty percent? It's like yeah, he ain't, he's saying it's supposed to be that way. Period. Anyway. Yeah. I'm he don't believe fifty fifty so, at all. That's what I'm saying. I'm more so for than Barry. It's like, what if she's short this month? No. So let me say this. Like, I say fifty fifty, but like. At the end of the day, I know most of the time I make more, so I'm paying for it. So I'm not sweating that, but it's just like... So it's not 50-50 then? I, I look at it as 50-50 because you contribute, and we both contribute. That's what I mean by 50-50. Okay. Like, I'm not going to contribute everything, and then you just sit back and buy lace fronts, where the fuck you buy burritos. Oh, I all that extra hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Wait, since he just brought this up, this is, the way, this, is, this is where these conversations go every time. If you in a relationship with somebody... Who you pay 100% of the bills and she's fucking up the bag. She's not the person that you need to be in a relationship with. Why the fuck would anybody be in a relationship with this girl if she's buying, like you said, lace fronts, bags, and all this dumb shit? Your girl is supposed to be the savings account. Your girl is supposed to hold shit down for when these flat tires happen or when the hot water heater busts and all of that type of shit because she ain't paying for shit. She needs to be tucking all of this shit. You, you got your little bit. Uh, I, feel you little you. I feel what you're saying. She the camel, basically. Yeah, She has to be. I hear like, you. I in, in, in these situations, <laughs> for me, for me, I'm a ball-dominated guard. All right? I got the ball here. I'm top of the key. I'm going to tell you, set the screen for me because I can't just stand in the corner and shoot threes. Russell, if we go football with it, <laughs> if we go in football, I'm the quarterback. She's the left tackle. She's over here handling all the shit that I didn't even see or know ever happened. Because she's equipped to do this. Right. I'm over I there all the touchdowns that we need. But if she starts talking about she want to throw the ball too, no, nah, we can't do that. We can't be fighting yeah. over the steering wheel. It's only one steering wheel in the car for a reason. That's where somebody has to be in the passenger seat. For you to have your defined roles. You know what I'm saying? Like you take care of your business. You take it. This but is your we, business. Like you say, it's but 50, if we, 50, 50, but we all got but if we, roles. But if we go in 50 50 on our situation and now it's like, well, nigga, I make more than you anyway. I don't need you. So I couldn't like, have that girl. Well, 50-50. Well, I couldn't have that girl. Always, it ain't always financial. It's 50-50 in a relationship. That's true. She need to be submitted then. And honestly, we skipped you on what you're yeah. looking for. In what you looking for? No, I, try, I, I, try, I, try to, I try to oh, throw man. it to you. Nah, it, 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 it got juicy a little bit. It got juicy a little bit. But, uh, I mean, me, I just want somebody that's that's nurturing and caring. That's going to hold me down when I need something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to go out here. His wife listens uh-huh. to every episode, huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> she, actually, she actually don't. But I, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna go get it. You know, so I'm gonna take care of everything. But you know, say so if the house need anything, let me know. Just handle it for me. You know, what I'm saying I don't even I don't even ask much of my wife. Just I just need a hot meal. You know, rub my back when it hurts, and take care of the kids. I thought you were about to say something. I thought you were about to say something else too. <laughs> I just need a hot meal. 
you can rub my back and you know. No, you don't <laughs> go to your situation. Just hold me down. I take you care a hundred. Yeah, you are. My, my wife's a stay at home mama. Yeah, so I take care of everything. Rich man. <laughs> I take care I mean, of hey, hey, shouts out to your wife. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she got to deal with me. <laughs> I'm crazy. That's what I'm bit. saying. Uh, the thing that I would say that I'm looking for, well, you know, I was looking for it back in my backsliding days, um, will be stability. Backsliding days. You got to have somebody that's stable and a good decision maker. Yeah. You can't have somebody, like I said, that's fucking up the bag, that's irrational. It doesn't know That's how what I was about to say. They can't be irrational. Man. Yeah, two burritos on one day. Why need two burritos on one day? Oh, women are just, irrational. <laughs> it's hooked up. Nah, the, I mean, to uh, a certain extent. It's oh, different it's levels of irrational. Yeah, but you just find the irrational that you can deal with. But I feel like they all kind of irrational. I mean, this is the whole thing. is we two totally different people. So they're going to have some shit that we're going to have to deal with. Whether it's Keisha, Teresha, Dawn, LaShawn, Inez, or Alicia. It's never That's gonna what I'm be saying. Crazy. They all crazy. You just gotta find the least crazy one. You just it gotta find crazy. which level all of crazy is decent for you. <laughs> exactly. See, we on the same level. Yeah, like I mean, they all like I said, they the one that don't wash no, the one that don't keep the house clean, and the yeah. one who not nah, that's what I'm saying. The one who don't keep the house clean, but then you go you gonna get with the one who keep the house clean, but then she don't know how to manage the money. So like there's always no, gonna no. be something there. I tell you there's what, if her house dirty. Her bank account ain't right. I can tell you that now. If her house is dirty, like you said from the rip, this is okay. This is just something to hit, and then I'm out. There's nothing. There's nowhere for us to go past this. But you gotta come to my house, though. Copy. <laughs> <Yeah. For> the- <laughs> I never really been a road games kind of guy. I like home field advantage. Yeah. See, I like this dude. He's saying everything that I be thinking. I think, man, this is crazy. I'm not, com- I'm not comfortable at your crib. Niggas might pop up down here. I know I ain't the yeah, only one. Yeah, you don't know like, the situation over there. It's not my crib. I don't know about your shit. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's all you had, though? Yeah, that's all I have. I'm good. I'm he got his little brownie points for today. Yeah, yeah he did. She I'm just looking for love and nurture. <laughs> she don't even listen. She's going to hug him as soon as he walk through the door. I just want somebody to nurse my feelings. That's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, you do need it. You do need somebody, though, to, to be nurturing and all of that. I never understood the type of dudes who like the chicks that like to argue with you. Like, I See, I had to get out of that. I had to get out of that. I had girls that... That was Chicks like ha- that was like half of our relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like we have a good day, and the very next day we'd be arguing. I'm like, I don't understand this. I hate it here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that was one of the things. Once I found wifey, it was like, yo, she's cool. She don't we don't we don't argue. She don't really. She's a. We are two different people. So things that I do, she ain't gonna agree with a hundred percent of them. She gonna have an issue with it. She gonna say something about it. Whatever the case, but it ain't no. We just arguing every day just because you, you know, saying woke up on the wrong side of the bed or whatnot. You know what I mean? Like I can't do that. All right, my let's bad, go here bad. now. What's your crazy level? What is the crazy that you can accept? Chris, we're gonna Ooh. start with you because you looked away first. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris or me? He said Chris. No, Chris. Chris looked away first. We're gonna start with him. My crazy level is at twenty percent. Twenty percent. Nah, on a scale of one to ten. Oh, so I guess two out of that 10. you can deal with. That I can deal with. Yeah, I can deal with a good seven. With a seven. But my wife is a you good two. <laughs> my man scratching we, his head like, "What got, you mean, we, Sam? We, we <laughs> yeah, hold up. Points right now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> you said you could deal with a seven. You could be with a seven on a crazy scale. But that's hard to say, though. That's hard to say if I could be with a seven. I've been with a seven before, but I made it out with a two. Have you so, been with a ten before? I've been with a ten before. Uh, what? Jeez. You ain't never messed with a with a ten, crazy. Oh, we're talking about like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, talking about me. mess with or oh, like nah, been right. with. No, nah, we, we all, all right, mess with we, some crazy ones. What we trying to what we trying to tackle here is what's the crazy scale that you could be with. Like, I don't mean that you could hit and she's just on the roster. I mean, this is you. So you're talking about marriage. What's the highest crazy level for marriage? Yes. You could be with. Yes. I'd say a five. Right now, I'm currently at a two, but I say I could probably get with like a five. So she went to a five. You still in there? She's been a five before. She's been a five before. <laughs> she just mellowed out to a two. Copy that. <laughs> Quickly, too. Wow, she's a five. Uh, but yeah. I can see Hold that. Up. Hold up. Uh, we will we will go to Ladarius with this one. Go ahead. 
I'm gonna say a one. You don't want you can only, you can't deal with no. Three. So you can't so you can't be with a woman. Shit. Is there a okay, one that's a woman. a woman out there? No, there's not. What my boy say on that grab, like, like if she's below the crazy line and on she that's a man. <laughs> <laughs> what you're describing you is a daughter. Okay. I feel like every woman has a has crazy. That's why I said you it yeah. ain't no yeah. ones. Of course. That's why I'm saying your, ones are one your kids. And that's just because no. she hasn't become a woman yet. No, because you know, I can deal with like the crazy, like uh, let me think. You know, you say something and she be like dead wrong, but she still be like, but I feel like I can deal with that because I can be like, no, I don't care how you feel, that's wrong. But after that, I can't really deal with it. No, I mean what constitutes as crazy? Because you're talking about just a regular relationship. So what would be crazy on like a yeah. what would be a 10 crazy? Still, still a 10 crazy? A rational the kick the the birthday the party. The birthday party. party. That wasn't even a 10. I'd say that was probably like a three for me. Hair's crazy. That was a three? three crazy. Yeah, that's a three. And you booted it they for go crazy. Like, that's what I'm saying. Hey, Malin, What'd you say, bro? Have you ever heard of a chick push the air conditioner in the window so she could climb in? Nah, nah, that's, nah that's, 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 that's crazy. That's, a that's 20 that's crazy. A that's right there. Okay, this is what I'm so you asked what's a 10? That I remember that I remember that being a 10. We had it on camera. She pushed the air conditioner in the window, climbed oh, yeah, in the window, why. and she couldn't get through. Yeah, that's, that's a 10. crazy. Nah, that's yeah. too much for me. Yeah, that's that's a crime. Yeah, <laughs> so my crazy level though, honestly, like I can't I I'm I'm with you, but I think I'm like I can't do more than a three. But Monica's a negative one. Bruh, yeah. 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 Like, and and I say that because I've dealt with crazy, what I think is crazy. And I was like, yo, this ain't it. This is this is a little bit too much for me. You know, flushing people cakes down the toilet and stuff. You, you going you going too far. No, <laughs> to go from a negative one a, to a, a three would be like a, a shock a to the system. Before we even knew it was a bunk cake, you know what I'm saying? Flush it down the toilet on your boy. Yeah. <laughs> you know. That that's going a little bit too far, but my wife now she's so cool. Like I don't, I can't do no crazy because if it changed up from what it is, I'm like, what happened? That's why I said yeah, it. You said she's a negative one. If you go to a three, nigga, that would be a shock to the whole. The whole For system. real, I I wouldn't know <laughs> what to do. So do you ever worry because you and your wife are so alike? I don't think we're that much alike though. But I think we're laid back and we, cold. only in that aspect we're alike, but in everything else, I think we're total opposites, and I, I think that's why it works. Because, like, I'm, like, I am chill, but I like, you know, I like the game. I like to do so. I like sports. And she's, like, the typical girly girl. She likes the Kardashians and things like that. Oh. And it, it just works. Like, we don't – we give each other – our we, we are able to give each other our space and still enjoy our time together. Yeah. It all kind of just play out together to where it's, like, it's solid. You know. It's got to be, like, two puzzle pieces. No puzzle yeah. Pieces don't – they don't, they're not identical, but they come together. Yeah, basically. You know That's like some corny shit to say, but yeah. yes. <laughs> but it's <laughs> absolutely. It, it? <laughs> Keenan, go ahead, <laughs> though, Keenan. Hey, say what you want. Good boy, you're fighting for his marriage. marriage go ahead. What's the, what's the level that you could deal with, Keenan? Me? Uh, <laughs> I'll say about four. Be like, should be a little turn. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I've learned, I've learned about that. I know the triggers now, so I can keep her about, about one or two. So about four, once you get to that four, I, I can't get. If it go higher than that four, it's, it's probably a wrap. What's Eight. a four though? What, what counts as a four? Is crazy. That's what I'm trying to understand the scale. Yeah, I mean, just like you know, arguing and just fussing and complaining about every single thing or something like that. You know, I can't deal with. So what level of crazy is like getting physical? I'm not saying this is your situation. Okay, physical. That's a nine ten. That's, that's a, a nine. nine. Yeah, 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 that's about a nine. If you, if you gonna hit me, oh, that's that's, that's just foreplay right there. Forma, you crazy bastard. We're talking about <laughs> that's for, he wants you to come in with the bag and a, a slingshot. <laughs> come in with the bag and the Dillinger up under. <laughs> I feel like they don't get physical unless they like you know if they if a woman hits you, they hit you because they think they can hit you. That's just my thing. Like if you know I'm gonna sock you, you're not gonna sock me. Wait, so if she sock you, gonna if sock she sock me, I'm socking her back straight up. Keep it a bean, I guess. Yeah, like, <laughs> this is different over here. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't beating you the fuck up unless you earn it. Release your release that on your podcast. Wait, so you just let people hit you? I've never been hit before. So no, I mean I tell my son, nobody has the right to put their hands on woman, man, or child. I don't know That's I why I said that. you gotta earn for for you to put your hands on a woman, she gotta earn it. Like, like if, if you walk in, if and you catch spit on, like if you spit on me, you've earned maybe. it. 
Nah, spit nah, on nah, yeah. Oh, that's she ain't going that's, that's, right that's why I yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think do beat beating up no woman. This is why. Spit this on this me, is bro. one of those things where, like, I don't like when people always go to like, I'll never do this and that. Mm-mm. You spit in my face, girl. You earned it. Nah, yeah, like, you can't do that. You spit on me. I'm gonna call your mama for you and tell you in the hospital. Yeah, you can't do that. It's certain things, but that's that goes back to his point though. A woman, I feel like, because, I mean, yo, I done done a lot of stuff in my 37 years. Before I was married, I was doing my thing, and I ain't never got spit on. And I feel like a woman will only spit on you if she feel like she can do that, and you just basically a punk-ass bitch ain't going to do nothing back. I ain't playing that. <laughs> like, from jump, you know, like, you quit playing with me, yo. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Uh, please, ladies who are listening to this, please stop putting your hands on niggas. Uh, I'm not condoning at all. Niggas, those are here being for real? So. No, nah, what I'm uh, I listen to a lot of different podcasts and like a couple of things that I mean keep meaning to post this and I keep forgetting. Like ladies is always like, I'll do this and I'll do that. It's like, look, you don't want this nigga to turn around and punch you in your face. So stop that's because, stop, that's stop doing they, that shit. When they think when they think they got the they don't understand the law has changed. They think they got the law on their side, they can go do whatever, call whatever, and then the cops just gonna come get you. The cops will get your crazy ass too now. It used to be where you call the cops and he hit me, he'll come, they'll come get the dude. But now the cops gonna hear the situation now. They're gonna mm. take you to jail too. I don't know. I, I ain't I, never been in that. No, I don't know nobody for real that been just, in that. Like you see movies and shit like that where they, I mean, just, they yeah. always call the cops and they they hitting themselves and make it look bad and shit. But you know, oh, they I think, got bail money. They think they they think the cops just gonna take a nigga over anything. That, that's what I think. Especially if it's a guy that's never laid his hands on you, though. You know, yeah. like why are you? You know, you shouldn't be hitting him. And that's that go. I just feel like that go both ways, though. Yeah, like I, I, I'm not yeah, just walking around putting my hands on my woman, but at the same time, I expect my woman to know that, like, yo, you, that ain't even a line you can cross. It ain't nothing after that. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was about you to can say. Yell all you want, say all the before we switch the shit up. Uh, before we switch the show up, real quick, uh, just for everybody, keep your fucking hands to yourself. You want to argue and all of that? Yeah. That's cool. But both everybody, ways. keep your fucking hands to yourself. Girls don't be hitting niggas and thinking it's just cool. Niggas don't be just hitting your girl on some dumb shit. Uh, facts, facts. My bad. This is something I forgot to do uh, in the beginning of the show. Let the audience know where y'all coming in from. Kansas City, Missouri. KC. Everybody from KC, man. Home of the Royals. <laughs> Home of the Royals. <laughs> <laughs> Copy that. No, I like to do that every episode because international hype is one of my hashtags. This is not just a local situation. I like to give, reach out to every fucking man. Uh, so all right, now let's talk about the weird ones a little bit. We're gonna start this with Kenan because he's been he been a little quiet over there in the corner. Uh, <laughs> What's up? I'm coming to the podcast as a brand new listener. Which episode do I need to listen to? Fuck, I can't remember. God's loophole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the latest one I said, God's loophole. Sixty-three is one of our favorites. I'm gonna just give out the title. I know the title of one of them. God's loophole and. Uh, Damn. Toot your own horn. No, toot your own horn and no hair, don't care. Those are the top three. What was no hair, don't care? When we was getting on you, not being hairless. Oh, uh, yeah. That is a good one. That All right. Hold up now. Seven, but those are older ones, so those are way throwbacks. But still. I got different joints for everybody. Johnny, what's the craziest shit Kristen said on the podcast? <laughs> oh. There's <laughs> <laughs> so much to choose from. What do you say? Kim Kardashian had, had a few abortions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she'll what, do it again. She'll, she'll do it. it, it, it what, we um, lost a real one with John Green today. Yeah, like, you just said that shit. This we, boy, what the hey, hell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we deal with over here. <laughs> that one ain't out yet, so copy that. Okay. <laughs> that was, uh, if, I, if I really like had time to think about it, think about it. He dropped at least a gym probably once every two, three episodes that yeah. Stick to the ribs. Yeah, we made a drop for it. God damn it, Chris. Yeah, so hit the drop. Oh no, the drop. Nah, it drops. Wow. Yeah, we good. But Kim Kardashian had a few abortions. That is definitely probably up there. He and said, she do it again. She do it again. He said a lot. He said a lot. All right. If I'm coming to the podcast, what am I expecting to get? This one is for Lindarius. Lindarius. That's what my mom's yeah. called. <laughs> <laughs> totally no S. <laughs> no, Lynn Derry, my it, bad. Just, uh, if you come into the podcast, like come to sit in here with us. No, yeah, no. If you come to podcast, okay, you come to get a good time. Come to listen to your podcast. What is it that they should be expecting to hear? 
it's going to be a good time. It's going to be funny. Some of it's going to be informative. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a motherfucking riot, honestly. <laughs> it's going to be one hundred percent true and right. I like it. All right, Chris, you gonna close us out with this one? What is a goal that we got for the podcast that we looking to hit? Oh, definitely a, a thousand subscribers on YouTube. That's that's it right now. Monetization. <laughs> nah, definitely. Monetization. Yeah, we are. Uh, thousand subscribers, nah, we, two thousand watch hours. Four thousand. Yeah, people forget. Four thousand. Four thousand. Copy yeah. that. Uh, we appreciate all the supporters, man. We got a lot of people that support us for real, bro. They go hard for us, man. We appreciate it. Yeah. That's like okay. a, yeah, that's given. I mean, it's true though. Yeah, yeah, it's real. So, anybody want to add anything on to that before we close this out? We we a year in. Every every episode is a grind. We go, we trying to improve every a year and a half, bro. Don't take off that hat. Okay, bro. year and a half, eighteen months, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Like thirty six year old, thirty six month old kid. Right yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 in this thing. Every every episode is a grind. It's gonna be it's gonna be. Everything is gonna be a grind. Ah, shit, I'm blanking right now. But we just we we trying to perfect, and nothing's perfect, but we're doing our best to make everything better every single episode. And for this year, so last year we did kind of like the solo grind. We did a few collabs. We did probably like three or four collabs, but we were mainly focused on getting our voice out. We want to, you know, say make sure that if you hear if somebody mention we're the weird ones podcast, you're like, yo, it's four dudes, four friends. They've been kicking it. It's their podcast, but this year we want to do a lot more collabs. We want to reach out to a lot more. We want we would like more people to reach out to us. We open to, you know, what I'm saying coming on people's shows or having people come on our shows. So that's that's what kind of like another mini goal for this year is. Copy that. All right, that is episode forty one, y'all. Appreciate y'all coming on. Like I said, uh, how to hustle seminars are available now. How to hustle seminars are available. If you're not live on the joints, then you could be sold to archives. Appreciate y'all hitting the button. That was episode 41. We are out. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up.